All right, sorry about that little weirdness in the middle there. Um, so here's the information. T, we'll call Tiffany, has two-fifths kilograms of cherries. Linda has one-tenth less than Tiff. And notice that I put less in all capitals because it's not saying that she has one-tenth kilograms. It's saying she has one-tenth less. So now let's see if we can draw that. Now, I don't mind if my drawing is insane right? It doesn't have to be neat. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to show my mind kind of what's happening. So Tiffany, I'm just going to say, I don't know. She has two fifths of cherries, right? Two fifths. And then Linda, I don't know what she has but I know it's one-tenth less. Now, to find what Linda has, couldn't I do if she just has less than Tiffany, right? She just has one-tenth less. So couldn't I just do two-fifths minus one-tenth? And whatever that equals, that'll give me Linda. So do you see how organizing it and drawing the picture helps? And then the final thing is, is it asks how many kilograms cherries did they buy all together? So I believe then once you've figured out Linda, you're going to just add Linda and Tiffany. So when you work on story problems, I want you to bullet your information. Sorry about that. Bullet your information, do a rough drawing, and then use what you've done to figure out your equations. Try not to do your equations before you do that because on multi-step problems, they're trying to trick you. But slowing down and doing these two steps will really help. Okay, good luck tonight.